I honestly don't remember the exact details of what it was like starting out as a new veterinarian, but I knew my scared shit moments heavily outweighed my confidence once, and I'm a pretty confident guy. Looking back now, I think about what would be important for a new veterinarian, and the years of living and learning through things on my own gives me an appreciation for what she will need. It's a short list, and I like to keep things simple. Number one, be there for her. Just be there present. Having someone to assure you that your decisions and thought processes are sound is key. Number two, let them fly on their own. I know it's contradictory, but essential nonetheless. Hang back in the shadows, the hallways, and watch them do their thing. Whether they feel they are capable of it or not, they are. Three, pick them up when they fall, brush them off, and let them go again. Ask them what they think or how they did. Nothing is better than opening with those questions. So you can correct their insecurities by telling them that they they did great or they were right. Learn from them. They are going to bring a fresh set of knowledge and protocols that you either forgot, got rusty, or were not yet aware of. Recognizing that they can teach you as much as you them is an interesting, humbling, and empowering feeling. Treat them like they are your kid. Because they are. Bringing them into that dysfunctional veterinary work family is what you just did. You adopted them. They are your responsibility until they grow up in the vet world. So treat them like they're your own. So there you have it. Five simple rules to live by as a mentor that I try to follow. Throwing in some sarcastic humor helps for me. By the way, Kristen's doing great. She'll come to know that soon enough.